we're doing here, we are now cleaning out the car so we can actually paint the inside. Um, we ended up taking the dash out of the car. It was so filthy and dirty that there was no way of getting everything out. And what Minnie's doing, she's been actually, believe it or not, cleaning this car out for the last two or three days. Every time she touches the dash, that's what happens right there. So it's basically been a continuous battle of getting all the trash out of the car. Hold on, uh, why do you got your hand on your shirt? Because crack kills. <laughs> you didn't have no crack. There wasn't no crack. Okay. It wasn't crack. Don't worry, I hope you better okay. not show it. It wasn't crack. You better not have shown it either. All right, all right. Our junkyard car is coming along, it's looking good, and hold on a minute, hold on. Turn the vacuum off. So let me ask you a question. What are you thinking about this thing? I'm thinking you need to move out of the way so I can blow it out some more. Is it getting closer every day or no? It's getting closer every day. I don't think it's getting any closer. We've been cleaning it out for like a week. Okay. Yes or no? You're wasting my time. I'm fixing I'm to have to leave. I'm not wasting your time. I'm fixing to have to leave to go to work. If you want me oh to get this gosh. done, move go out of the way. Go ahead. We went ahead and got the hood on there. I'm sure everybody saw that. I went ahead and finished the bodywork. Hood really came out nice. I like the way that came out. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. What's going on? It's like the insulation is just disintegrating. All the insulation. Get that. Look at all this. Oh my you goodness. saw me vacuum it up, right? Yeah. Look like you had rats living in there, acorns. Yep. Looks like looks like mouse. You know, when I took the heater out, it looked like a three-story apartment in there. Yeah. When I took that heater core out, it looked oh like. Oh my gosh. It was Dirt pretty, and pretty bad. It's just all this is the in, the original insulation, and it's just disintegrating. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's not our problem. Our problem is to get this thing painted. No, strong. it is our problem. You know why? Why? Because when the Air pressure from the paint gun hits then that. Then you need to get it. It's your problem. It's your problem. All over the paint job. It's your problem. You're the one cleaning the mess up, not me. I'm just the guy spraying the car. Let's get it up. Let's get it cleaned out. Basically, 
gasket free at this minute. And we're not going to paint this whole door. Um, what I am going to do though is when I paint it, I'm going to come in about, I don't know, a couple inches in. So when he puts the door panel on it, you won't see any red paint. And then here's the rest of our dash right here. What I'm going to do with this is I am saturating it with flex and grease remover. And I believe he's got other gauges that he's going to be putting in here, but uh, we have to paint this thing green to match. I asked him, I said, what color is that? And he said green. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm using a Scotch Bright to saturate it with because the problem you have is it's got a vinyl texture on the plastic. And I don't even know if he's going to use this one due to the fact that there's a hole cut out right here. But, I mean, I'm going to finish my job, okay? And get it done to what I want it to look like. This car is just, it's filthy. I mean, it's just filthy. Look at that. So, before I tape it off, I want to get all this dirt crap off it to uh, make sure the tape sticks. Because I'm going to do the right job here. See, I'm not going to half-ass it. We're on the downhill slide of this thing, or is there even a downhill slide to it? I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and get all the interior painted. Once that's done, we're going to come back and block this thing out and get it painted and say hasta la vista baby. I did my job. It was a very, very big job. It was a long job. It was a distressful job. It was a depressing job. It was a job that made me work seven days a week when I was working on it. And let me tell you what, this job was a fucking job I will never forget. So we got the car in epoxy primer. It is now epoxy primed and it is now ready for paint. And we got our favorite bitcher and complainer here, nitpick Norm. What's up, Norm? Y'all come hey. out of here out of the hey, light. Here's, here's what the deal is, Pete. There's okay, first of all, I can't hear you when you're walking away from me, Norm. Hey, hey Pete. What? Did you see me coming? Yeah, I, I see had you the now. vest. I think you played that joke on everybody, I dude. Did. Everybody in the world knows I about did. your your city worker vest. What's up, city dude? Work. Yeah, well, you don't have a... Don't touch the car, please, sir. There's a little dent right there. Don't touch the car. I think you need to take that out of it. Hey, hey uh, Pete, do you have something I can lean on while I'm, you know, like maybe yes, a, DA, a DA sander or something I can lean on and watch you do this job? No, I uh, don't. I know. I have up. enough, I have enough uh, pole leaners here to... Okay, hello. That's still yours. I didn't say to answer the phone. I didn't fucking say to do that. <laughs> I didn't say many to do got, that. Many would have got it. I didn't say to do that, Norm. <laughs> I know. Okay, I didn't say it to do hey, that. It's about your Google listing. Okay, tell him to fuck off! Fuck off! <laughs> don't answer the phone. You don't like it? Sorry. I don't want to fucking talk to other people right now, sir. No, I'm busy that's working. What I was doing it for you. Okay? What do you think about our Vega here, Norm? Give us your angle on the situation. Uh, it's a Vega. Yeah, but it's come a long way. This was a it junkyard has. car, it, Norm. It, it was pretty much a junkyard car. Yeah. Still it was a junkyard car. Don't lean up against the door, please, sir. Get the out door. of the way. Yeah, Son of a bitch, you Ryan. I have not touched anything. Just haven't You're lucky you don't work here, dude. Because you definitely wouldn't be hanging around with your arms folded and all this other shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, let me ask you this, Norm. What are you thinking about this? This, uh, this beautiful piece of engineering? Yeah. Uh... Hey, you saw the car when it came here, dude. It'll be a nice car. You when saw it the car when it came here. What are you thinking? The junkyard restoration, is it, is it a, a durable situation or is it a waste of time? No, I, it'll be a good car, better than it was when it got here. That's yeah. Cool. We've done a lot of work to this car, a lot of rust repair. Completely gutted this car out. Look at this thing. We got the dash down to nothing, dude. Ready to spray. Now, the owner claims he's putting this all back together, which is saving me a lot of time, Norm. 
We're going to see. I don't want to put it back together. Don't lean on the car, Pete. Can I lean on the car? No. Why? Oh, you're going to get grease on it. You're get some I'm not touching it. I'm painting it. Don't worry about me. Oil on there. Don't worry about me. Look what we got here, dude. Look at the dust that's flown into this just from sitting here, Norm. Wow. I got to get to painting, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, you want me to put that phone inside so it, so it doesn't get oversprayed? Thank you, Norm. We're going to put it up here so Ryan can't answer it. I'm going to go ahead and get the green painted on the interior. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and drop the car down on the ground. Well, actually, we're going to leave it up in the air so many can block sand the bottom of the car. Then we're going to get it down on the ground. It's time to block sand and paint this thing. Hopefully, it'll be painted next week. What I want you to do is come over with your reading glasses. Where are your reading glasses? They're right in my pocket. Let me see. Okay, what I want you to do is come over here with your reading glasses on, and I want you to walk around this thing for about an hour and a half and make sure that everything is in working order. Uh, Can you do that? Pete, you need to put a little more primer on that spot okay, right there. Well, we're not painting the outside right now, Norm. All right, I'm just saying. Just all right. All I'll right. make sure. All right. Okay, Ryan. Uh, Norm, we gotta go. All right. See y'all later. All right, Pete. Take it easy. Take it easy. Guys. All right, we're out of here. There you go. Keep going. Uh, Friday Keep night. Keep going. Keep going. It's Friday night for you, and it's work day for me. I'll be working till about nine. I'll be working till about nine. I'll see you tomorrow, cause my friend Pete will be here working too, at the SWRC Prison Farm, right here, right here, guys. You know how much you how much you get an hour, Pete? Zero. Thirty cents. Pretty much. That's about right. On the chain gang, we're getting about thirty cents an hour. See you later, man. So anyway, let's get the paint out. Let's get it mixed up. Let's get this thing green and get her down the road. All right, I just got done painting the Vega, the interior. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. And there you go. Um, I can be honest with you, this has been a very, very long journey. Long, long journey. Longer than I even want to talk about. Uh, here we go, let's get some light on it. Uh, the inside is painted. This car was a freaking nightmare. A real, real nightmare, I can tell you that. But I can say we are on the downhill slide on this thing. And now that I'm looking at it, it's going to be an awesome car. You gotta understand, this is junkyard material here. This is a car that was totaled out, junkyard junk, non restorable basically, should have been crushed, put into the scrap iron pile, and has been brought back to life. Let's go take a look at that dash over there and see what it looks like. And it came out awesome too. You can still see the grain in it, just like I wanted. I don't know if this was actually the way that it came from the factory like this, but I mean, this is what he's getting, so what I'll do is I will go ahead and supply him with extra paint, and when he gets his car at home, if he wants to paint all the interior parts to match what he's got on the dash, which I'm sure he's going to want to. And basically what I'm talking about is this right here. This is the plastic interior that came out of this particular car. Look at this. Look at this stuff. Just really amazing. Um, here's the door panels right here. Wow. Just a real nightmare. Look at this dash. Look at the dash pad on that. It's not even restorable. I would have asked him if he wanted me to restore the dash, but looking at the dash itself, I don't think it's restorable. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and paint this. I didn't even really think about it, but we'll catch that when we paint the car. We'll get that painted green. And other than that, I mean, wow, what a freaking mess. So, basically, we started with that thing right there, the original, authentic, 76 Nomad. Came from Amarillo, Texas. It was in a junkyard for 18 to 25 years, sitting. And the owner, Mr. Vega himself, bought that car and had it delivered to my shop about nine years ago. And it sat out in my yard for about four or five years. 
and then we got on the car and then we went and bought this junkyard car for parts to use on that car right there we found out that that car was non-restorable uh, junk pile that it was and then me and Minnie went and picked this car up and brought it back to SWR and C. It was sitting in a guy's field out in South Texas, I guess you could call it, just sitting there rotting away. And we have now brought it back to reality. So I think if this car could talk, it would probably be a very, very happy camper that it is going to be a survivor. We will be converting this car to a Nomad. It's going to have the white vinyl top on it. And it's going to have all the Nomad insignias on it. And it's going to be an awesome car. You can tell that I'm actually calmed down now. And my voice is at a level of, you know, I'm fucking proud that I didn't give up on this thing. Very, very proud that I kept going kept the motivation, even all the hollering and cussing and pissed off situations of, I just want to get it out of here. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, over here trying to get the message across to you. I've been doing YouTube videos now for a little over 10 years, and I'm trying to relay a message here. Even though I don't like my fucking job, and it sucks, and I hate fucking doing this shit, I still come out here every day and fucking do it. And in the end, I'm fucking glad I did. We'll see you on the next one as we continue to work on our 1976 Chevy Vega and uh, get her done. Well, um, as you see, I have put brand new fresh paper and tape on the Vega. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I'm going to tell you why I fucking did that, and I'm also going to show you why I did that. So, I go ahead and do all the work to the car. The owner of the car sends me a picture of a uh, uh, leaflet out of a color book from 1976 and it's got two greens on there. I asked him which green it was. He tells me what green it was. I ask him again. He confirms it. I go ahead and get paint which is the 1976 lime fucking green. I paint the engine compartment. I painted the engine compartment and I sent him pictures of it. I also painted the hood and the fenders and sent him pictures of it. And everything said, uh, it looks great, awesome job, this, that, and the other. I go ahead and paint the interior of the car and he texts me and says, that looks like the wrong green. That looks like lime poly, not solid lime. <laughs> the line poly green that after I paint all this shit he decides to tell me it's the wrong fucking color here's the fucking paint that I just went and bought that cost me 175 fucking dollars and we're gonna look at it and I'm gonna ask your opinion by looking at it as a picture if you can tell it's a different color so I'm gonna take the lid off this one and then I'm gonna take the lid off this one now, this is the one I painted it with, right here. This is the one that he says is the right color, and this is the wrong color. So, that's that green. You can see it's got poly in it. 
Now I want you to really pay attention here, real close. Get your uh, bifocals on, because you're really gonna, if you don't, you're gonna miss this. That's the green. Do you see that? Now, you can plainly see in a picture that it's two different color fucking greens. You can see that. And not just paint the interior, but now I gotta paint the fucking engine compartment, the fenders, and the inside of the fucking hood, and the front of the core support. Then I gotta come back and I gotta paint all the fucking black shit over. Because he didn't tell me about it when I painted it and sent him pictures the very first initial time, which was the engine compartment. This car has been nothing but a thorn in my fucking asshole since the day it rolled into my shop at four o'clock in the fucking morning, snowing. I refused to take the car from the guy because I didn't even know who the fuck's car it was. And he was giving me this whiny story, the truck driver that brought it here, how, it's the snow blizzard's bad, and he can't haul it back to Amarillo, and blah, 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 this, that. I should have told him. I should have put my foot down and told him, fuck you. I don't know whose car it is. I don't, nobody called me about this car. You need to keep it on the trailer and get the fuck out of here. That's what I should have done. I am sick and tired of being Mr. Fucking Nice Guy to every motherfucker I meet in the world. I'm sick and tired of it. Because Mr. Nice Guy does not pay your fucking bills. Mr. Nice Guy puts himself in the fucking hole and ends up losing his fucking ass is what Mr. Nice Guy does. So being the nice fucking guy that I am, I'm going to go ahead and repaint all that shit. All I can say is thank you for reminding me after I spent all this money on paint supplies because looky here. The fucking engine compartment is painted with acrylic enamel, not base coat clear coat. So I gotta go buy some more fucking enamel to do that. Mr. Fuck off, nice guy that I am, bitch. So what's your opinion? Huh? Go ahead. I just want you to quit screaming. No, I want you to tell me what you think about this whole nightmare mess on the 76 Fagan Nomad. It's a bunch of shit. So you think he should have told me ahead of time? Well, of course. Let me show you this again. Let me wake you up. Y2K! You didn't wake me up. I don't like the way you fucking scream at me, Pete. Come here. Come here. Come here, man. Now, we saw the car, we saw the green. I'm gonna go back to the green, and I'm gonna show you the day and night difference on film, okay? Bam, look at that. Look, look, there's that green right there, look at that. Look, here's two color greens on that can, look. One and two, day and night fucking difference here. Well, yeah, you could definitely see from the very beginning that that was sparkly paint. Not just sparkly, it's metallic. It's got a gold iridescent look to it. It's it's 70s Chevrolet green. Okay, I don't know all about the year. All right, what are you working on? You know, what are you working on? I'm tired of you fucking screaming. Okay, I'm asking you a question. What are you working on? I'm working away from you. Okay, here, take the camera with you because I got turn a lot of things to do. Turn it off. Here, put the camera away. Turn it off. Put it away. Turn it off. What are you working on? What are you doing on that Mercedes? Maybe the body shop girl that you are. I'm What's going on? I'm gonna take the fucking fender off if you leave me alone. So we gotta change fenders out and you can do that all by yourself? You're shitting me, right? Can you do this? I don't know. You think you can take that 
fender off that high expensive hundred thousand dollar Mercedes and put another fender on it without scratching anything. Cause I sure would hate to paint it the wrong fucking color. Yeah. Alright, get that fender changed out so we can keep moving forward. <laughs>